Dan Howe with LMI Technologies. I'm a regional development manager out of Detroit, Michigan, here in Chicago at the Automate 2017 show. This show is a fantastic show for users that want to do factory automation. There's a lot of robots here, a lot of technology, including our technology, which is 3D vision. And uh, the show has been uh, fantastic. We're on the third day now. There's been lots of traffic, lots of interesting questions from customers. And I think they're getting a lot of value. We certainly are, for sure. Hearing different types of applications in different industries, uh, 3D scanning uh, and automation. It's a fantastic show. So this year we've launched a number of products that we didn't have at the last Automate. Uh, we use uh, laser line scanning technology including our 2400 series, which is higher speed and higher accuracy than our, our, our past products. Um, we also have a much wider advanced tool set, lots of uh, onboard tools to do measurements um, for various, various applications. Uh, we also have our snapshot technology, which we've uh, to this, at this show launched our 3210 and 3506 sensors. These are high precision, uh, structured light scanning technology, all in a box where we've got our, our full tool set up. I'm Paul Von Drack. Uh, with LMI Technologies, I'm the Central Region Territory Manager uh, for the U.S. And uh, what we have here is basically a demonstration of 3D pick and place, with multiple applications being displayed, linked with uh, basically driven by a GoCater 2340 laser profile sensor mapped directly into a UR robot over Ethernet using standard communications ASCII protocol. So there's nothing more here than basically the GoCater, its standard tool set, and the UR robot. The examples that we're showing are pick and place to stack and unstack, similar to a palletizing or depalletizing application, uh, random placement and picking off of a conveyor, uh, and then finally we're doing structured bins uh, by basically height of the parts. We have one, two, three, and four stacks high, uh, using the 3D information to basically put them in the appropriate bin and uh, set them at the appropriate clock angle through the part matching algorithm inside the GoCater. So as far as tool-wise, we're using nothing more than three tools. So it's two bounding boxes and a height tool and uh, part matching enabled in the unit in order to perform all three functions. My name is Tony Crocker. I work for the Bross company and I'm an applications engineer. Um, Bross sells a wide variety of products uh, along the automation lines. Um, and some of those products are, are robots like the Universal and uh, the LMI GoCater. And uh, the GoCater is very easy to work with. Um, the one of the nice things is that it's, it's pre-calibrated at the factory, so you don't have to convert from pixels to some measurement units. Uh, those units are already there. So when integrating with the robot, you, you actually have uh, less uh, steps to integrate the GoCater than you would maybe a, a traditional camera. Um, so that's very nice. So I'm Paul Oberly. I'm the Director of Business Development for 3D Infotech. Uh, we've been a partner of LMI's for a good number of years. Uh, and uh, what we're looking at today is universal metrology automation. And in this case, we're actually utilizing the brand new uh, 3210 sensor uh, from LMI. It's factory sealed, uh, IP67 rated. What basically just happened is we just captured some data just a minute ago and uh, now we've set, uh, aligned it to the CAD model. We've uh, captured some uh, discrete points along the surface of the part so we can analyze uh, how repeatable the process is and, and how close we are to the nominal ideal. Uh, and then there are also some features that were measured in the background that have to do with the cylinder, uh, some cylinders and uh, the angle between those cylinders as well as some flat plane, uh, which is the mating surface along this area here uh, for this throttle body. What's, what's really incredible to us in the new generation GoCater 3210 uh, is that it gives us a significant order of magnitude better result. Just instantaneously we're able to, in a second you'll see the alignment of the data, the uh, 
the, the, the position of the scanner is recorded, so we have the inverse kinematic chain recorded at every point in time. But as you can see, in about one second, we've aligned and best fit the data together. And the only reason why that's possible, that it can be so quick, is the fact that the data that's captured from the 3210 is so much more refined and precise. So it's actually improved our cycle time by a significant margin. My name's Ira Greenberg. I'm a business development manager with Blue Wrist Inc. and we work with channel partners for distribution and system integration throughout the United States. Blue Wrist and LMI have been uh, working together over the last 10 years to deliver cutting edge systems to the automotive industry. So using the GoCater allows us to basically run inline 100% inspection of manufactured parts. Our software comes complete with trending capabilities to monitor the process in line during production. So there's no need now for random sampling of CMM parts. We can move this system in line, 100% part inspection using the wonderful technologies that the GoCater has to offer, paired with our Comic Stream software, allowing us to connect various devices together. So we have interfaces to various robots to allow them to read the data from the LMI sensor, transfer that through to our Scan Extreme software for analysis and processing. Yeah, so here we have the new Fanix CR7 collaborative robot with an LMI GoCater 2340 laser profiler mounted to it. We're using the robot as motion to drive the sensor to acquire our point cloud. We're taking multiple passes, stitching them together to a single image, running comparison against the CAD model in our Scan Extreme software, allowing for feature measurement, feature extraction of various holes, slots, and trim edges. Furthermore, once that is complete, we are running a local surface comparison against the CAD model for any deviations in the production process. So this will show any dents, scratches, or pitting on the part.